they come marching in. Hey, can I have the strongest TAC percenters? Hey y'all, it's Short and Stone, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canada advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be diving into a guide at how to shop at Dispos. Join me as I take you on the challenge of purchasing legal good greens like a pro. Did you know in 2021, 3.5 million people shopped at Dispos for the first time? Three and a half million. And that number is only growing as legalization takes storm. Gone are the days of shady backroom deals and hushed meetups in the alley with Joe Schmo. Today, you can walk into a bright, welcoming shop with knowledgeable staff and a vast array of products. But with this newfound freedom comes a lot of uncertainty. How do you navigate the overwhelming choices? What do you need to know before stepping into a dispo? That's what we're going to cover today. If you're new to dispo shopping, you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed. There are so many products to choose from and a lot of terminology. You might be wondering the difference between the big T and the big C. But you also might be wondering the difference between this one, this one, or this one. And then there's bud tenders, the homies behind the counter that seem to know it all or nothing at all, to say the least. I'm speaking from experience as a previous medical patient consultant in Pennsylvania. That is jargon for a medical bud tender. Walking into a dispo for the first time can be like walking in to a foreign country. But rest assured, everyone behind the counter and in that store is there to make sure you walk out feeling listened to and like you have quality product. And the bud tenders are there to help. It can feel like you might need a translator listening to what's on the menu. But again, ask them. That's why they're there. I guarantee you they love talking product. But then after you leave and you've made your purchase, you might be wondering, did I even get a good product? Is this going to even affect me? Will it help my anxiety? And that's where you come in as the consumer and you can take this into your own hands by doing your own research. Education is key. You should always know what you're consuming. So fear not Dispo Newbie. You are obviously not alone. You are in a large demographic and with a few simple tips and tricks, you'll be navigating that store like a pro. Let's start with the basics. Research is key when it comes to shopping, like I said. Before you even step into a shop, you might want to brush up on your local laws. You might want to know what the legal limit is to purchase in a day. How high do the doses go? You might want to look into the flavors on the menu and look up the lineage of them. All of this can just help you have a smoother checkout. When you are in the shop, make sure you check out those labels and you read them. Again, if you have any questions at all, ask the people in front of you. They're friends and that's why they're there. Make sure you understand the content in it. Make sure you understand, is it more nighttime or daytime leaning? Are there any additives, preservatives? Is it solvent or solventless? Knowing to ask your bud tender for help is crucial to a great time. Don't be afraid to ask for recommendations or advice. They're trained and they're paid to help you. And remember, it's okay to say no. If a product or flavor is not driving with you, don't be afraid to ask for something else. I'll never forget my time working behind the counter. A large chunk of our patients every day were new patients. They had never stepped foot in a medical dispo or any dispo at all, given the legality of the state. They come marching in. Hey, can I have the strongest TAC percentage? And I'm like, excuse me, I think you might want to try something a little bit lower and let me walk you through what we have available. People that are new to purchasing in shops obviously want to try something that's going to knock their socks off. But I would always recommend when you're shopping at a legal dispo for the first time, start low, go slow. Legal product packs a punch. And don't be afraid to admit if you don't know something. According to a recent survey, nearly 60% of consumers didn't even know the difference between the big T and the little C. 
That is a staggering number. And that's why it's important to arm yourself with education and personal research before you go to a shop. You owe it to yourself to be informed on what you're consuming. All right, let's break down the guts. I'm going to go over some key details, terminology, explain some products briefly. And lastly, I'll give you some do's and don'ts. First, big T. That is tetrahydrocannabinol, and that is going to be the main cannabinoid that gets you elevated. That brings us to the big C. This is mainly regarded for not being psychoactive and providing pain relief, relaxation, while not getting you elevated. If you're shopping for the first time, I definitely suggest looking for CBD ratioed products. All right, next, we're going to break up these three categories. All right, you gotta remember this one because it's in the couch. It is nighttime, it is relaxing. Next we have, this is the energizing, the Red Bull, the uplifting, the focusing. And then the hybrid, it is a mix of the two. But I'll be honest, we're throwing out the I and the S indications as everything's just becoming a hybrid today with all the crossing of lineages. But also you need to look at terpenes if you really want to figure out what the effects are going to lean. But those three are a good place to start. All right, products. We have flour, that is the main one, what majority of consumers are going in for. And then you have infused foods. These are going to take a minimum an hour to hit you and you'll be feeling these for four to eight hours. Next, we have pens and cartridges. These are little concentrated pods that you can hit on the go, very convenient. And then my favorite, concentrates. There's so many different forms of concentrates under that, but it's called that as it is an ultra concentrated form of the plant. You are getting the best stuff in a tiny little form. You need a specific rig or way to consume it, but if you're a medical patient like me, I'm reaching for this. Lastly, topicals. These are great for on your skin for so many different reasons, healing, but also relieving pain. All right, let's get into the do's and don'ts. Do not record in there without permission. This is a safety reason for the dispo. Another safety precaution is do not take phone calls while you are in the shopping zone. In the waiting room or outside, go ahead. But when you're in front of the desk and the kiosk, some dispos might be different about that. But majority, you're not supposed to be taking calls while you're in front of the register. Do not shop for a friend. You are only in that store to shop for yourself. And lastly, don't lie about your experience with the plant. No one wants you to green out and have a bad time. And no one's going to shame you for what level of consumption or tolerance you're at. All right, do. Do ask your bud tender questions. We love to talk about products. We love to talk about what we're enjoying, what's new, what you might like. So ask away. Do remember to tip your bud tender. They work really hard to understand this industry while they're on and off the clock. I guarantee you those people are very involved in the community and it's a lifestyle. People in this industry are very passionate about how much this plant helps do your own research before you walk into the shop and after. Look at the products on the menu before you go, but also maybe look into the companies that you purchased lastly. Do remember to smell and look at your product if that's allowed in your state. The nose knows, baby. So to recap, the key to having a smooth time at the dispo is being informed doing your own research on local laws, knowing the products, but also ask questions. I know I'm beating a dead horse with a stick, but it's, just do it, just do it. With these simple tips, you'll be shopping at the dispo like a pro in no time. I hope I was able to help in some way. And if you have any tips, drop them in the comments so we can all share our knowledge. If you made it to the end of this video, comment first time. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me. Check out my previous video, which was my one month review of the Puffco Peak. And check out my next video, 
which is how to properly clean your glass. I post videos every Saturday and Thursday, so I'll see you soon. Peace. And in case you didn't hear it today, I appreciate you.